this is a normal day here, you know, multiple sales guides, helping everyone with their purchases. An East Lansing business. Um, our CEO is an MSU alumni, so that's why we chose East Lansing. Opened its doors in July. Everyone here has, you know, they have continuous cannabis knowledge, um, which is something that we pride ourselves on. Pleasantry's CEO. We are cannabis people that started a business, not business people that got into cannabis. A cannabis business immediately impacted by COVID. We are at a small, limited capacity. Um, we can only allow so many on the sales floor and in reception. Um, right now, we do offer curbside as well, which I know a lot of places have been pivoting to curbside. Pleasantries is the first to sell both medical and recreational cannabis in East Lansing, and their business is growing in more ways than one. We're trying to walk that line where we maintain uh, authentic to our roots uh, while still being able to grab a, a larger market share and appeal to more of the masses. Our grow facility is expanding. They're also going to provide a, up to upwards, I'd say at least two, 300 jobs in the next year or so. Pleasant Trees has a mission to grow things beyond what's inside, and that's through growth in the community. We're going to work on giving, I think we're going to buy books for certain students. They're going to do something where you can nominate somebody who might be in need. Um, and then next, next year, we would end up buying the books for some of the MSU students that need them. Helping students and the environment. We also have a commitment to um, planting one tree for every pound of uh, cannabis that we sell out of a retail store. And CEO Randy Buckman says that expansion is coming soon. He credits this to passion. We have a good team and that's what, it's not, it's not me, it's not the, the retail uh, managers, it's not one individual, it's, just, it's really an army of people that are committed to the same cause here. In East Lansing, Connie Rabani, Focal Point News.